Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library, where I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. Uh, today is going to be our December TBR takedown and it is going to be the end of an era. If you are new, welcome in to the final TBR takedown video. Um, if you've been here before, you may know that I have been doing this challenge since 2018 when I had 240 unread books on my shelves. I was like, girl, that's a problem. You need to read some of these. And though I still have a book buying problem, I've also been tackling my TBR, taking the numbers down as much as humanly possible. And at the beginning of the year, I tasked myself to get my physical unread TBR down to 25 books. At the end of November, we were at 29 books. I didn't read any in December. I can just be straight out and honest with you if you uh, watched the wrap up video, which should go up slightly before this one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't read any more books uh, from my physical TBR, uh, at least not the old TBR in December. So um, we're still at 29. However, I decided early on, probably around mid October to November, that the TBR takedown was going to be done after this year. Once I was down to 25 books, I was like, you know, we don't really need to go any further than that. But also I have learned that I need variety, but I don't quite need as much variety as I have. Um, we're going to talk about that more at the end of the video when we get into talking about what we are going to be doing for the next year. But first we must go through our purchases, our reads, our DNFs and unhauls. We're not going to have any numbers today because I honestly don't know what the number was last month. I don't think, I think last month we were so far behind that I didn't even do a tally for the uh, current TBR. I've been keeping track of them separately all year. My backlist TBR and my current TBR but I, I have no idea what the month started out with so there, I, I, I can't give you any numbers. Um, we're just gonna go with what we got which is me sitting here telling you my purchases and my reads. If you want to know any of my thoughts about these books I will link down below in the wrap up. I read The House Next Door by Darcy Coates, From Bad to Cursed, Back in a Spell, and In Charm's Way by Lana Harper, The Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, Blameless, and Heartless by Gail Carragher and Small Town Girl by Donna McLean. So those are the books uh, that I read. Uh, let's haul some books. If we were doing the tracker for this month you would be surprised because most of these I have already read. So like we wouldn't have had to have gone up very far which I'm okay with. No complaints on this end. I purchased The Golden Tower by Cassie Clare and Holly Black. This is the fifth book in the Magisterium series. Why may you ask? Because I currently have the first four books in this series in paperback and the fifth book in a hardback and it's driving me crazy and so I decided to purchase the fifth book in paperback from the discount store so I can live my life with matching covers. Okay? Okay. I also picked up a couple of Darcy Coats. I got in Dead Lake which I read earlier this year and The House Next Door which I read in December. Also a book that I read in December In Charm's Way by Lynn Harper. I gave this book two stars so the other one that I have read is Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry, which I think I read in November. And these next ones are all new and some of them gifts. I got One of Us is Back by Karen and McManus. This is the third book in the One of Us is Lying series. I read book two in November and so I picked up book three in December. I also got The Fragile Threads of Power by B. Schwab. I loathe entirely the new covers that they did for the original trilogy and the one that they released for Threads of Power. The American covers are so fucking ugly. Honestly one of the ugliest book covers that I've ever seen in my life. I, I'm sorry like VE if you're here for some reason watching my video I love you but those covers are an atrocity to humankind. Anyway um so I got the <laughs> I ordered this UK cover um, from Blackwell's which is also a signed copy. If you are looking for UK covers of books that you like because you know Book Depository got bought out by Amazon and then Amazon closed them um, and you live in the US you can look at Blackwell's. I will link them down below. They do um, ship to the US and so that is where I now get my UK covers from. Can I help you Raji? You gonna be in all the videos today? 
she says yes she shall be in all of the videos today from book of the month in december i got no one can know by kate alice marshall this was a early release this is one of my most anticipated reads for 2023 and you can expect a vlog for this most likely before its actual release day raj you're gonna fall my dude are you okay don't do a don't do a trust fall right now i've only got one hand she likes to do trust falls where she's just like right side up and then she just you good what, what are we doing other than you putting your butt in my face what are we doing can i help you hello that right there trust falls she's like you'll catch me right you're such a good girl we then have for never and always by helena greer oh that sound scared you hello um i am a patron of beautifully bookish bethany and i am on the tier where we get a um, yearly mailing that comes out around the holiday season and she included some books this year and this is the one that she included for me um it's like an adult romance and like you know who who doesn't want that if I remember correctly, this is actually part of a series, but it's like a companion novel series. And I believe that our male love interest is bisexual, if I remember correctly. Also, speaking of Bethany, who is my friend, by the way, um, I will link Bethany down below. Beautifully Bookish Bethany here on the YouTube. Um, I will link her down below. She sent me her copy of The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland because she knows I'm a stan and she had already read it so she sent me the copy that the publisher sent to her this is an arc it does not come out until like late january i believe um this i think was originally set to oh here's the cover Ooh, ha, ha. i believe this was originally expected to release mid last year and then got shifted forward to january of this year i do have a digital arc of this because i asked very politely to the gods to let me have have an arc um, which they did send me um, and then Bethany asked me if I would like to have this physical copy and I was like I would but I you know I did inform her that I do have a digital copy and she's like yeah but I know that you love it and would you like it and I was like yes please thank you <sighs> if you don't know um, I don't know what this book is about quite honestly three girls one supernatural killer on the loose that's that's the tagline I, 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 I never I never needed to know what this book was about have I loved every book she's ever read written yes um, her first book our chemical hearts will break your fucking soul and make you cry into every corner of your house until it floods and then everything is ruined that book is so fucking sad but so good and then her second book is my favorite book of all time, a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares. I love that book. It is so good. It's so dark. It's very dark, but also very good. I just, I love it. It's so good. And then House of Hollow, which is where she kind of blew up. People really loved House of Hollow and like the creep factor of it. And then like each book has progressively gotten creepier and creepier and I am 100% here for it and I'm so excited to read this. If my schedule goes to plan, I'm telling you secrets of my schedules right now, okay? If my schedule goes to plan on January 23rd, there will be a vlog going up of me reading these two books, which are my two most anticipated reads of 2024. Now there was a third book on this most anticipated list. However, it is a St. Martin's Press title. Therefore, I can't read it and talk to you about it uh, for reasons. So it's just gonna be these two. I'm honestly not mad about it because it's one less book I have to read in a short period of time. Um, but yeah, so I, I will be reading these very, 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 very soon. I'm so stoked. Like you should be stoked because I'm stoked, okay? Let's move on, shall we? I did not have any DNFs or unhauls in the month of December. I just kind of chilled in December. I pretty much got rid of everything that I was ready to be rid of. I I knew that like, I knew I wasn't going to reach my goal of 25, but I was happy with 29. So technically at the beginning of 2023, I started with my backlist TBR at 76 books. So my backlist TBR went from 76 to 29, which I'm really not feeling that bad about. When I add in my current TBR, which were all of the books that I bought in 2023, I ended up at 93 books. 
which when you consider that 30 of those were two series that I bought the whole series of, is really not that bad. I'm happy with 93, but moving forward into next year, I'm gonna change the game up a bit. And I have decided a new way to clarify a book as being part of my physical unread TBR. I have so many series that I have like whole series of that I have been saving for um, reading vlogs. There are three series that I own that have 15 books a piece um, that I have reading vlogs planned for in this year. Um, there's one that has 10 books that's planned for later this year. There are a lot of books that are part of series and I have learned that I like variety. When I got down to 25 books on my physical TBR, I was like, this is not enough. Well, 29. This is not enough. I can't decide what I want to read. And then I start looking at it and I'm like, technically you don't have 29 books to choose from because you have this book is part of a series of five and this book is as part of a series of 10 and this book is part of a series of four. What you actually have is about 13 books to choose from if that. And so as a mood reader, I decided that moving forward, if I have more than one book in a series, only the first book in that series will count as being part of my physical TBR. So say I have all of the un, I think the series is the Unbound series by Neil Schusterman, because I do have that five book series on my shelf. Um, I can't remember if it's Unbound or Unwind. I think Unwind is the last book. So I think Unbound is the first book. That's the one that's actually the name of the series. Either way, I have all five books in that series. But as I'm counting my physical unread TBR, those five books count as one book. Because I can't just pick up any book in that series and read from anywhere. So those five books count as one towards my physical TBR. The hitch with that is I'm going to have to read five books for my physical TBR to go down by one. So in some ways it's helping, but in other ways, not so much because I am going to have a cap on my physical unread TBR. Technically, with the new rules of having all of a series counts as one book, it would take my end of the year count because I did count at the end of the year from 93 to 47. If that shows you how many books I have on my TBR that are parts of series, um, we're taking it from 93 to 47. Now we have to decide what do we want our top out number to be? What should be my goal for the year to reach? Well, if you watched last week's video where I talked about um, doing a planner flip through and my goals in 2024, I decided that the number that I'm going to settle with is 60. Every month I'm going to add up where I'm at with my physical on our TBR and I want it to be below 60, uh, 60 or below. If it is above 60, I have a month to rectify that situation. Um, I'm not going to be just chucking books to chuck books at this point because I have spent the last four or five years really like cultivating through my unread books and like really picking out books that I know I want to read. So I feel like I've done, I mean, like I said, I've got it down to 29 books that were books that I hadn't read this year or that I hadn't bought this year. So I did a really good job of that. Um, I've really cultivated it down, but I don't want it to get too far ahead. So I could have made it 50, but I decided to make it 60 because I didn't want it to be unattainable and un like to stay in that lane. I also went through and counted out how many books I've read every year from my physical TBR shelf since 2019 because that's the first year that I had the data from and then I averaged those and so on average I read 62 books off of my shelves every year. So I felt like 60 was a good number to go with on that. That's where we're at. The new TBR game, if you will, I'm calling Bouncing the Book Bingo because I'm using uh, Leanne from Literary Diversions uh, Bingo Board from Hell. And I'll link her video down below if you want to know more about that. Um, and also I'll link my 2024 goals video down below if you want to know more about that aspect of it. Um, there's other, there's nine squares on the board and I've got nine different reading prompts. One of them is I want to at least 10 months of the year, I believe is the number that I went with, to be under 60 books on my physical unread TBR. I think I'm going to do fine with that. I don't think I'm going to have a month where I'm going to be like way above it. Uh, it's definitely a possibility, especially if I spend a month reading nothing but like the 15 book series and then buy books because I, you know, if I read book one through 13, I'm still got one book on my shelf. It's still, well, <laughs> it's still one book. So I can read 13 books and not move anywhere, uh, theoretically, depending on what series I read. So I started out 20, 
23 with 76 books on my physical under TBR. I added in a shit ton of books this year. I don't even know how many books I hauled this year. I couldn't tell you. Counting everything I've purchased from the beginning of the year to now, and that's only purchases that I hadn't read when I bought them, because I do oftentimes buy books that I've already read. Um, but books I hadn't read beginning of the year to now was 131 books. So if you add that to my 76, we're north of 200 books for the year. Like it, if every book that I bought this year was sitting on my shelf and I hadn't read any of the books I bought this year and I still had like the 76 books that I had read that I had counted at the beginning of the year I would have over 200 books on my physical and read TBR shelf and my actual count is 93 that's over half so really I'm actually shocked by that I'm, I really am like I just looked at how many books that I've read that I've bought this year that I am shocked that I have bought 131 books this year that were not read at the time of purchase. That's crazy because there are not, there, I have maybe three shelves of books that are unread. Maybe three, not even three, 93 books from over 200. Girl, pat myself on the back there a little bit. All right. Yeah. So we're going to start off 2024 at 47 unread books. Just none of the numbers that you just heard make any sense or are you as lost as I am? Um, we're starting out 2024 with 47 books. 47. Uh, on my physical unread TBR, again, if it's part of a series, the whole series only counts as one. And uh, we're going to try to keep it under 60 for the entire year. Is that going to happen? Your girl don't know, but she's going to give it a shot. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me some kind of a food emoji down below. That is all I have for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.